tanking. Tractor turned off, so we'll put all this on the back of the tractor. I know I sound very rough. I, I feel better than I sound, I promise. But um, yeah, bit of bit of man flu. Right, I was feeling stupid, and I forgot that this has got a 21 spline shaft, so I just had to change that round. So now we can put the shaft on. Oh, you can tell this hasn't been used for a while. A bit of elbow grease. There's actually been a bird nesting in the side of the slurry tanker. That is amazing. That. Right. That's pretty cool. Anyway, there's no bird in it anymore. Just making sure this slides up and down alright. Which it does. Backs on there, that's all good. Alright, see what damage we can do with this today. Better check the oil, I suppose. You probably can't see, oh, it's just above the line there. We could put a little bit in to be safe. We're sucking! So the pit's got a lot of sort of cruddy stuff on top, the stick. So I come down with the bucket and I try to mix it. All I did was take away the bun that was stopping it running out. So now I've got a load of dung on the concrete there. But I uh, can't do a lot about that at the minute. The problem is it will suck all the water out through all the thick stuff and then I'll just have to come down with the bucket and take the thick stuff away afterwards. So, uh, it's stuck in anyway. That's the start. <clears throat> yes, that looks quite messy there, but that's just concrete with dirty water on it. Um, and there's a long uh, grass track down there that will soak into. So. No harm done, but we've got a load in the tanker, so we're going to see if we can spread it. There's probably a couple more load in there, but it'll get more and more difficult to uh, to get it out. Right, we're not going very far. We're just going to a field literally opposite side of the entrance to the farm. Just a bit of an exercise to empty this pit, really. It's the um, last couple of days of September now, so it won't be too long before cattle start coming in. I'm doing a bit of a social experiment guys, so I'm trying to get my head around the YouTube algorithm and how it works. So I want to post a like target, so if we can get, I don't want to be greedy, if we can get 500 likes on this video, I want to see if that propels it up the algorithm or, I need a better way of wording that, I don't know how to explain it, see if it reaches more people. So I'm convinced if your videos go further with the interaction you get, so likes, comments, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, do me a favour, like the video. It's in a field here that Rex has had some sheep in. We've eaten it off, so we'll follow them with a bit of dirty water. Can't really call it slurry. Well, let's start here then, see? The wrong pressure. is just dirty water. Now it's a little bit of a different tanker to the one we were using at Abby's parents last week. Um, yeah, theirs is a bit bit more up to date. And essentially they do the same thing. This is about half the size of theirs as well, this one. But uh, yeah, we're spreading. Right, back at the pit. I'm currently doing a technique which is called the sucky sucky blowy blowy whereby you suck up half a tanker full and then you blow it all back in I'm just trying to mix in some of this solid stuff so I'll do that, I don't know, half a dozen times and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of it out the problem I'm having is the deep end of the pit um, has got a lot of the solid stuff where it comes out from the hydraulic baffles so the water at this end can't get there because there's like a solid bund in the way so I need to try and break that bund in order to get it. At the minute we're sucking. We're sucking up until it sucks no more. And then we'll chuck the pipe over that way a bit. Blow it all back in and try and break up some of this bun. Now I've sucked out about everything I can. 
out of this pit. Um, there's liquid anyway. So what I'm going to do is spread what I've got in the tank, and then we'll go and get the dung spreader, and we'll start putting the solid stuff in that one. Which will be an experience for us all, because I've never used the dung spreader here. Now, I'm not sure if Rex's dogs are just confused where he's gone to get his sheep from, but I can see one of them running around in arable stubble field. There's no sheep in there. It's a bit of close that gate again now. Slight change of plan. <coughs> I've just come to suck a bit of juice <coughs> out of the onion that takes all the liquid out of the midden. So we've sucked out what we can of that with the pipe because the pipe's not long enough to get any more. Uh, the reason I did that is because Rex is moving sheep around in front of where we want to go with the, um, uh, what do you call it, hander. And also John wasn't here with the hander anyway. So the hander's now back. So John's going to put a bit of dry dung in the back of the dung spreader so when we put the sloppy stuff in it doesn't all leach out um, I'll go get rid of this and then we'll uh, go on with the dung right we've got the handler there's the pit there's the bit of a uh, slurry we spilled it's all water really right, I'm going to do myself a nice little tight turn here now you can see in a minute when I put the bucket down What's left in here is fairly thick. There will be a degree of water with it still, just because you can't suck all the water out when you're tanking. But... What I need to do now is go and get the spreader. Oh, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill back it down here somewhere so I can load it. Right, change the tractor. John's put a bit of solid dung in the back for us so nothing should leach out on the tiny bit of road we've got to go on. Oh. Of course it's going to absolutely tip down with rain now. Manual gearbox. We're off. Shepard and Luke will be getting wet. With, uh, mucking around with sheep. I did a bit of impromptu tree removal there this morning. Right, we're in. Now I'm going to go load up this load. See how it goes. It is teething with rain, which is really annoying because I've got to get it out. But uh, it is what it is. So I'll load this one up, see how we go, and then next time we'll set the camera up. Hopefully, if it's dry and you can see me loading. You wouldn't know it's full, but just about to see it there on the side. I've not put much in because it's obviously very sloppy. The yard, or exit from the yard is quite steep, so I don't want to lose it all over the back. So we'll see if we can make a clean getaway. But we're spreading. I'm not sure if we're doing it like we should be, but we're doing it. The only problem with a rear discharge spreader is you can't actually see what you're doing behind you. Unless you're in a camera, I suppose, which I don't. You should be able to see through the front here as well, but it's all full of dung, so I can't. I think that's too thick. It's supposed to rain like hell on Friday, so it will get washed in anyway. Got that small on. Hopefully that puts the bed going again, which it does. Looks like the sloppy stuff's coming. Should be alright. Go down the middle here, so I spread up there, back there. We head down the middle. Right, empty! Not too bad, I don't think, for a first ever go with a rear discharge spread up. There's a thick bit there. Like I said, this is just being grazed by sheep. Uh, and it's supposed to rain quite a heavy day after tomorrow, so it'll wash in nicely. We've got the rest of the field there we can do with what's left. But it wasn't a disaster anyway. 
It leads me quite well into lunchtime as well, which is beautiful. I'm always keen to eat something. I guess you've got to say that. No slurry pit for you. I reckon there's probably probably a couple loads in there. I can't get through that gap. Can't get through that gap either. Can't go around it. Gotta go over it. Right. Let's do loading. Somehow I managed to avoid the splash back there. <clears throat> well, that's how much we got in. Don't want to get too greedy and it all like slop out. You can see how fibrous and stodgy it is. Tank would have never got it. There is still some liquid in there. And we'll have another load in a minute. At some point this afternoon, um, Vincent's are bringing back our rear mower. It's that one. Um, what happened to it? One of the discs. The disc assembly underneath in the bed um, sheared off. I think they're designed to shear rather than you know, bend, twist, destroy the entire bed. Uh, whilst Craig was using it, um, so they've had that back. I was gonna put new blades on it and change the oil before next season, so they've had it and they've done all that whilst they've got it, which is handy. So, saves me a job. Too much. much running out the front there as there is the back I think as long as it ends up on the field I don't care how it comes out what do you reckon Gus he's watching made sure to leave myself a gap this time so I can actually get through Doing leaking. Not good. Um, the door's right down. Well, I'm gonna leave that leak in there, but next to these is right next to the pit. The mower's just turned up, so I'll, um, I'll shut the pit up now. So I've emptied it out. Got this big door on the front, so nothing can get in there. But it doesn't need to. Let's take this round. And get this mower. You can't deny that is a good-looking tractor. Well, I'm pretty sure we've stopped leaking. So we have. Something solid must have plugged the hole, which is good. I can just shovel that into there later. Right, all finished. Last load spread. Great success, apart from that, that bit there. But had a wash in, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to go put this one back in the midden and then get back in my tractor and take the tanker off. See what the time is. Well, um, See what, see what else is on. So, all parked up. There is a tiny bit of dung left here, but not enough to worry about doing anything with. We'll just stay here till we start putting dung in here again this winter. Now you guys probably never see a dung spreader because i that's the first time I've used it, but there it is. It's a Roland V2105. It's only a little one. Um, it's on different wheels, tyres, and it's on a different axle because they had to get over our bridge, which is narrow. 
Um, Craig's are there to order it special when they bought it. There's the sprayer, just filmed a little TikTok with that. If you don't follow me on TikTok, the uh, link's in the description. You're not really missing a lot, but normally just stupid stuff that goes on there. Weather really cannot make up his mind today. It's one minute it's sunny and hot and you don't want a jumper on, the next minute it's like freezing cold and rain coming in sideways. I polished the tractor last night, you can just see little bubbles on the bonnet. Sat on top of the polish. Nice and shiny. Tanker off. I really should change the um, power shaft back to the 540 one as well, but what I'm going to do instead is leave it until I hook something up next time and realise I haven't done it and really annoy myself. So, so there's a much more me kind of thing to do. We'll park the tractor up somewhere. See what Dicker Bowman's up to. Right, the weather's pretty rubbish, so I'm going to do paperwork this afternoon. Just come down to get some batch numbers off some glyphosate drums. So I can do all the paperwork properly. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, like I say, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see how many likes we can get, see if that propels the video up into the YouTube algorithm. I don't know how it works, um, but yeah. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Crawford's winning. He's beating us in the sub race, but I think one last resurgence is on. We might be able to get somewhere near him, but yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon. Cheerio.